picked up Nasalif here from work. It's a long weekend here in Melbourne, uh, and so that means I have no sporting commitments, no tennis, no footy, no nothing. So we're headed away for the long weekend out to Marysville. So, yeah. Headed out there now, got about an hour, an hour and a bit to get there, so that, uh, yeah, in an interesting part of the country or state that I've never been to, so Marysville, I guess, uh, here we come. Marysville just standing out on the balcony. We're at the uh, Vibe Hotel in Marysville last night. Didn't do much, just got to the room. It was bloody freezing. And uh, if you're looking for a pizza, I wouldn't suggest getting the room service pizza from the, the Vibe. It wasn't the greatest pizza, but we'll see what we can find better today. Um, just to show the view out here. Outside our window at the hotel, second floor. There you go. Lovely stuff. The uh, main road of Marysville. There's police going past. Let's cross the road. It's stopping. Hmm. All right. I'll keep you updated if anything massive happens there with the, the police stopping across the road. But yeah, this is our hotel. About to head out for the day uh, very, very shortly. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it's a good day. It's nice and sunny, which is good. Not that warm, though. We're just leaving the hotel now. Headed off to Hillsville. It's about 30 minutes away. Going to go to Hillsville Sanctuary, see some kangaroos, strain animals. Um, if you've never seen a kangaroo in real life, so we're going to see that. Then we're going to head to the Four Pillars uh, gin, gin Distillery, uh, have some drinks there, and then uh, maybe go to a winery after that, just uh, spend the day out in the brisk coldness of the, uh, the weather. But yeah, let's go pet some animals. They had the Wine and Wildlife uh, Festival festival I don't know, experience that was on at the moment. So we are, the car park was full. There was cars parked all the way down the road, like a kilometre plus down the road. So we bailed on that. And we've just uh, gone straight to the Four Pillars uh, Distillery, the Four Pillars Gin Distillery now. And, uh, well, I've got to park there straight away, so I don't think we're going to have too many problems in terms of that being busy. So I guess bottoms up. Gonna help us hang around in the in the town here. Go uh, grab some food. Salifia's just gonna get some uh, potato gems. I think so. We'll see how they look when they uh, when we come back. But yeah, the gin was uh, fantastic. I uh, bought a bottle of the um, of the bloody Shiraz gin, which is in that bag right there. So yeah, that was it. All right, so just leaving Four Pillars Distillery after World Gin Day. Loaded up on just a couple of gins, and now because I haven't had enough to drink, we're going to a brewery around the corner and I don't remember its name, it starts with B, I'll let you know what that is later on. It is. Hello. I was just showing you the... Oh, yeah, there we go. You're going to look at the sign. Uh, as we walk the 700 metres to this brewery in Healesville and we'll, uh, we'll catch up on that when we get there. Some birds, I don't know, cockatoos, galahs. There they are, just casually going about their business. Oh, see you later. As we walk on a road with no uh, footpath to get to this brewery because I can't read directions, so yeah, awesome. 
So uh, Google Maps said there was a, a brewery here. Um, there isn't, as you can uh, see in this street. Just a lot of factories with not very many people around. So yeah, we're in sort of in the middle of nowhere. Definitely if this was night time, I'd be getting murdered here. But it's not. So I think I'm safe for another day. We're now going to head off to a winery. And I know those exist because I actually saw one physically with my eyes and didn't rely on Google. So we'll see how the, uh, how the winery is as we finally get there and get out of this definite murder zone in Hillsville. Hold the absolute phone because we walked down this road and now another brewery has magically popped up. Watts River Brewing. There are people going in. There are cars around. There is no police chalk outlines on the road. <laughs> I think we are set to actually get a beer at a place. Let's, uh, there you go. Watts River Brewing. And a giant Connect 4 board. Shout out Rajon Rondo. River Brewery sitting down with these eclectic mix of couches. Sally just doesn't want to sit next to me, so right, fair enough though, to be honest, sitting over there. Got a couple of beers, I got a pale ale, she got a stout. Look at those ones there, has the table filled with many other glasses. Just a very uh, eclectic group of uh, things here in this weird brewery that we found. So, uh, yeah, I guess. Cheers. Alright, just back from Watts River Brewing, uh, Brewing actually. Uh, surprise little brewery, it was pretty cool. Went and had a uh, couple of beers there. Now headed off to the, uh, what's it called? Innocent Bystander Winery slash Restaurant. Alright, we're just pulling up at Innocent Bystander, a winery slash restaurant, allegedly. So we've been misled a couple of times before, but we'll see how this place goes. It looks pretty busy. Mm, we'll, see, we'll see what we got. before we uh, retire for the evening and head back uh, head back to the hotel later in the night just have a bit of a bit of a shared meal as we sit at the bar at the giant steps winery shout out to giant steps because the food's been uh, their wine's been fantastic we bought a bottle of their vermouth which you can see just here and yeah this stuff's been really good so uh, hopefully the food's just as good See the breath pushing out it's a little cold here yeah, definitely no uh, snow at this point but we're back after a big day wineries breweries gineries that's not a real word distilleries and uh heading back for the uh, for the evening in for the night so uh good night and we'll uh, see you tomorrow